He had one this a couple days ago, this past Friday, and tonight we have another one, another good one for you, actually. Um, we have a green flag on the other side, the number two seed, and the number three seed, AC Juniors, will be competing and trying to get to their second final of in a row basically they last year they went all the way they they literally won the whole cup or the whole tournament so obviously they're trying to go back to back and let's look at their starting 11 the starting lineup for green flag fc number one hartwell number four clark six kevin ho seven mcconey number 10 solorzano 11 sanchez 14 fernandez the captain and let me see the last couple three I went to. So, but AC Juniors, we're gonna get through again. Here, let me go. Get back as the teams go back in into the field. We will take a look at it. All right, we'll, we'll, go th we'll go through the starting 11 here in a second. Don't worry about it, guys. But we'll have it everything ready and, and set to go. The most important thing is that both teams have 11 players. They're both ready to go, and we are getting it started and ready as well. Green Flag FC, AC Juniors, we're going to listen to the national anthem. And the courtesy hello and goodbye for both of the teams. And we're going to get started here in a couple of seconds as both teams are getting ready to go. Green flag in their traditional green, of course, with the light colored pants and socks. And on the other side, you have the traditional all red for AC Juniors shirts, shorts, and socks as well. Both teams with their starting 11, the starting squads, the, the players that we have. Seen do the most basically for each team. So we're excited to see what this one's going to be on. We're going to take a last few fix, the flicks, the pictures, and everything that is going to go on. And once again, we appreciate everybody tuning in on the live stream on the YouTube channel. Don't forget if you haven't yet. If you haven't yet, there is a little poll on the on the YouTube channel. Who's who do you think is going to go to the 2023-2024 final? Is it gonna be Green Flag? Is it gonna be AC Juniors? Let's take a look. And we have out of 39 votes, it's it's pretty I mean it's completely even. 40 votes, 50-50. Both of, half of you say AC Juniors, half of you say green flag. And we'll see what happens here. Just in case you guys don't know who I am, my name is Christian, and we appreciate everybody coming in and tuning in as well. Let us know on the little chat option there who you're supporting, who you're watching, and where you're watching from. We'll give you a quick shout-out as well. And as we go read, we want to give a shout-out there to Crystal Clean. I'm talking to Luis Sanchez directly, and then obviously Coach Helton. Shout-out to Coach Helton and his a group of Ridge Cy Ridge, they had a really good run in the playoffs. 
and then we have AP Lex is also joining us today. But hopefully, we're gonna be we're gonna have a really good match like we did last game. Last game it was a really really good match, three three. Everybody that we needed to see, Kunemo, Ayoka, everybody delivered and showed up. And then when it came to the PK shootout, obviously it was all MAFC with a 4-1 win. They went through and now are waiting in the final for the winner of these two squads. A lot of familiar faces, a lot of people that we know and we have seen throughout the whole year. And we'll see what happens here. Personally, I am very excited to see what happens here. So Green Flag will be moving the ball first. McConey and Pham are going to be moving the ball. We're seeing a 4-4-2 type deal maybe. And a 4-3-3 on the other side. Kevin going long. They're going to start first. And the goalkeeper coming out of his line to make sure nothing happens in the first few seconds. AC Jr. is now on the left side with Gio. Who's going to be playing left on the left side? Lasso was the left back that gave him the ball. A nice switch of the ball there. If I'm not mistaken, that's Tony touching the ball with Regules through the middle. Back with Lasso on the left side. Gio now with some a little bit of space, a little bit of time. We'll play back with Alan Cruz, who's now playing center back tonight. Interesting enough, we've seen him play. I think every single position. And he has done pretty well in all of them. We know that as a striker, as an attacking player, he can do a lot of damage. We'll see what kind of damage he can do tonight in the back line. Tony, another one that also has been litting everything up. Now Gio on the left side. Omar will be the one protecting him. We'll see what happens here. Gio going in, cutting back, taking a shot, putting it in the box, asking for a handball, won't get it. Diego bringing it down, some space, trying to get a shot off. And, AC, and green flag trying to get out of there. It's going to be a quick throw in there for them. Lasso on the left side. Playing with G on the right, on the line. Diego on the midfield. Back with Gio. Not, no pressure there. Trying to go long on that one. And... Weissman, number 12. Going through, Alan Cruz. Torres on the back side, moving the ball around with Tony on the right side. In the middle with Eduardo. We'll see if he tries to find Danny there through the middle. Trying to cut back. Trying to go through players. Has to check back. Lasso making a run for it. Lasso's going to lose the ball there to McConey. McConey now looking for a few options. Going to play quick there with Kevin. And a bad pass is going to give it back to the AC Junior squad. Gio, good step up there by Kevin. A nice two. Fam now. McConey making a run. Getting into the box, looking for the shot, takes the first shot. And the goalkeeper, Gomez, controlling with no issues whatsoever. Tony on the right side. Omar. Weissman, once again, playing with Omar. Fam, quick touch. Omar, once again, on the line. 
Fam and Omar. They're linking together. And Regul is there with the defense. Eduardo, nice turn. Now looking for a player to play on. He's going to find Tony on the right side. Tony looking for some options. He's going to find Regules in the middle. Lasso on the left side. Gio. A lot of space. See what he does. Looking for some options. Then he's going to make a run. Now he's in the box. He's going to put the ball across. And the goalkeeper there getting a hand on it. I'll switch over here to Cruz. Regules. Some pressure though on his back from Weissman. Diego in the middle. Gio opening it up. Tony's going to bring it down. Putting the ball across. Danny now all by himself. See what he can do. Oh, hey, not able to get a proper footing on that. Very good opportunity there for Danny. Alan Cruz there, clearing it out. The defenders from Gonzalez. Danny there, trying to go long. Going on the right side, see what he can do. It's in the box, a couple of guys on his back. And Danny not able to make a move there. Kevin moving in now with Weissman. Some pressure there. And he's going to lose it there with Eduardo. Who's now putting, using his body. Looking for a pass. He's going to have to open all the way up. Across there from Lasso. Not a good one. So McConey now is going to get the rebound. And a step up there from Lasso. Omar going along with McConey. McConey not able to get through. Fam does though. Stays on it and not able to get through. Bam. Ball coming across. Omar on the right side is going to try to block off Gio. Gio making a run down the line. Trying to cut back and a little twitch. From Omar, he's going to send it to a corner kick. Ball going in, second post. They're going to bring it down. Danny trying to flip, finds a shot in. Step up there from Clark. Torres, now he's going to chase it down. He's going to play back with Tony. Eduardo through the middle. Looking for the shot, he does take it. And it hits the outside of the post there. There was a ring, but it was on the outside. Long ball. Torres is going to bring it down there for Diego. It's going to open up. Lasso. Looking for an option there. Trying to go through the middle. Diego. Gio putting the ball into the box and the goalkeeper with the rebound. A shot and the defense there getting in front of it. Stand again. Regules! And the defense there on the line. Another shot and the goalkeeper with a touch to send it to the corner.
And AC Juniors now attacking everything that they have in their way. It's going to be a corner now that Gio is going to take. Long ball into the box. They clear. But Tony's going to bring it back in. A ball across. Danny! And not able to put it on frame. Good idea there. Good shot. Not able to keep it. They're going to win it back. Regula's going to open up. A long ball going across. The goalkeeper not able to get a touch on it. Gio not trying to get some space. Cutting back to his left, going back to his right, looking for a PK. Not going to get it. And Gio stays on the floor. A quick touch by Weissman. Going through the middle with Gomez. A long ball. Weissman's going to bring it down now with his chest. And it is going to be a handful on that. And it seems like we're going to have a, a touch there. Gio and company asking for a VAR check. All right, so we're checking, trying to see what happens. But for easier checking here and see what happens. See what they decide here as we check in on it. And let's see what the referee will decide. And the referee does decide a penalty and a yellow card. On number 22, Gomez. In the 12th minute. 22. 22. 22, Gomez with the yellow. All right, well, we're going to get possible. Well, we'll see what happens here. On, see who's going to take this one. Gio, number 23, will be the one taking it. All right, Gio, it's going to get ready. Taking it and goal, Gio. Getting the first one in of the night, number 23, Gio. The ref, the goalkeeper went on the right side, but it was only inches away as Gio blasted one on the left side of the goalkeeper. 1-0 for AC Juniors, the current champions holding on to their crown and still going into the, to the final right now as we speak. Go, 
Gio getting one in. And the 13 minute. Gio number 23. I don't know what happened to my pen in this split of a second. Oh, it's in my pocket. Ha. Huh. Now Tony, getting out of pressure. You know, go for it. The, uh, I got a guy one. Appreciate it. Long ball. Going to Gio. Gio's going to make a run for it. Domar's going to try to chase him down. See if he can get into the box. Cutting back. Gio looking for some options. Two players in front of him. Now three. Gio touching it back there with Danny. Now Danny seems like he's going to a deeper hole there along the line. Lasso, they're trying to put a foot in there, but Kevin now he's going to get it. Clearing out. Fam, some space. McConey's going to make the run. Let's see what happens here. Who's going to get to it first? McConey coming at it, but Gomez got there first. The goalkeeper with a nice foot and flick off there to save the day. Fernandez going on the other side. Fam. Ooh, nice. Little nutmeg. Fam, going into the box now. Tony going in strong. Fam keeps it, though. Trying to put the ball across. The rebound against Diego's legs. Fam is going to keep it one more time. See if we can get a cross in. Ball goes into the box. Some space. Kevin! And not able to get a good shot off. That was a great opportunity. The first time that uh, green flag has ever been down against AC Juniors, right? I think they've been, uh, every time they played against them, they, they have been leading most of the time. And that's how they've been able to pull off the, the, the win twice in the two legs. Um, obviously, AC Juniors, the third seed in the league. Facing a good green flag side. Lasso going in with Danny on the left side. Danny's about to get into the box there. A couple of defense goes through one. Danny! Hen kisses the post and it goes outside. Danny. Danny go looking for his. Going through a couple of players. A little nutmeg in the way. And Danny almost got one on that second post. Green flag counting their blessings right now. What do you think of Danny so far? Danny, well, it's too early in the game. I mean, he's uh, he, he's the one that got that shot on the on the post, right? No, it was uh, it was uh, Eduardo, I think. Eduardo. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Danny, uh, still early in the game. I think uh, I think Danny's gonna get his chances, of course. Obviously, we're gonna see how they match up against McConey in this case, you know. Now we're talking about McConey now getting the ball in, but Eduardo is a little bit too strong. He's going to get it back in the midfield, see what he does now. And a bad pass that Tony's going to collect. Going through the middle. Danny, Gio. A run to Sevilla, who has the speed. See if he's going to do. Going into the box, takes a shot. And right over the crossbar. Sevilla now, the one saying, I am here too. Another guy that has been killing it in Vote League. Been quiet lately, obviously. There's a other stars in this team, but Sevilla has been a beast. Since the beginning of Vote League. Weissman, not a good pass. Lasso stepping up. Gio. Quick touch with Danny. Gio. Opening up the field. Savish is going to play back with Tony. Back to Eduardo. Once again with Tony. They're just playing both of them right now. <laughs> Going to the right side with Savish. A run there by Tony. Great run by Tony. Now getting into the box. See what he does. Cross back, Gio! Goal by Gio! Great run by number five, Tony, on the right side. That led everything and just left Gio all by himself in the box. But I think this goal is half Tony, half Gio with the definition inside the box. How did you see it? Oh, man, Gio, man, 
that's uh, I think that's the X factor really that uh, AC Juniors needed. I think that when Gio is focused, I think it can really make a difference in the game. I mean, we've seen it done it last season as well, all throughout the season with Seinfeld, now doing it with Juniors. And Gio now with two goals, man. Uh, one from a penalty and now in a well-built play by AC Juniors. Gio getting on the board once again. Killing the game so far. And Green Flag. I don't think Green Flag has been in this predicament the whole season. We'll see what they got. They got number 10, Solorzano, on the bench. He's been a key figure for them. Now we're, we're seeing like a, a bit of an unusual uh, uh, lineup for uh, AC Juniors with, uh, looks like. Lasso putting the ball into the box. Okay, never mind. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> Looks like Louis and uh, Alan Cruz are playing at center back. Yeah, I know. That's what I was saying in the beginning. Alan Cruz has played every position, and now he's playing center back. Obviously, we know he's a great striker, so we'll see what happens in the defense. So far, so good. D Diego bringing it down. It's going to open up with Lasso. Lasso, a great addition for this squad as well. Regules. Now AC Jr. is just moving the ball around. Obviously, no rush whatsoever for them. They're already two up in 20 minutes. They're just chilling right now, moving the ball around, keeping it, possessing it. You know, your enemy cannot hurt you if they don't have the ball. So as long as you keep it. And that's, I think that they're going with a different mentality after uh, a little bit of a flashback, at least from the uh, players from Seinfeld last season, right? Uh, yeah. When they play against Houstonians. I think that's what got him more focused on this game, trying to lock in uh, and, and, and not get any surprises. Obviously, I don't know the confidence that Green Flag came in the game knowing that they uh, won the two legs against um, AC Juniors. Yeah, and I mean, AC Juniors are the champions, right? They're, they're looking to uh, keep the crown in a way. And whoever, I mean, whoever wins here, it's going to have a really tough match. Going against MAFC. Now Tony making a run on the right side. A nice ball through the middle. And Hartwell there. Coming out of it is line. Long ball. Looking for Fam. Looking for McConey. Alan Cruz stepping up. The rebounds all to Aces Juniors. As Danny's going to open up here with Lasso on the left side. Danny looking to switch, and he does. Finds Tony, who's all by himself over there. No worries in the world. Eduardo trying to look for a pass. Looking for the run there by Reules, but it was a little bit too long. Looking forward to see if Fam and McConey can link up. As of right now, I don't think they they only haven't had any chances in that final third. Maybe a couple of hits, but way off the target. Ball coming across. Some pressure there from Omar. He's not going to let Lasso to get this one. Lasso, they're going over the top. And a nice little clearance. Alan Cruz doing his magic there with his left foot. Upping up the field. Quick touch by Gio. That has switched sides and now playing on the right side. Eduardo looking to switch it up. He willed with Lasso. Lasso, quick touch on the inside with Diego. Diego with a nice little run pass. Not, nothing there. Fernandez not able to turn around. Eduardo cutting in through. Looking for a shot. He does find it. And the goalkeeper. Not a good shot, but the intention and the idea was there. Great win defensively. Weissman, quick touch there with Femme. Now they're going the other way. See if they can do something correct now. McConey now with a little bit of space. Torres, though, going into the floor, Torres. And it seems like he might have caught McConey there at the last touch, but we're going to keep it there. 
has a throw in. McConey on the floor. Let's hope he's doing all right because they're going to need him. And these are some of the chances that a green flag needs to take advantage of. Uh, you're not able to have like uh, many chances attacking, especially with team 22 minutes. You only have one shot of target. I think. Oh, it's a throw in. It wasn't a yeah. I thought it was a throw. No. I mean, it might as well be if this is going to be a lone throw in. Going in. Ball into the box. The rebound there. See if they can get it in. And not able to get a shot off. Clark, not able to get a good one. A quick touch. Is he going to be outside? Yes, he is. Way outside. Long ball once again, looking for Gio. Gomez going up, bringing it down. Going through the middle with Kevin. Kevin now pushing forward through the middle. Long ball looking for McConey to make the run. But the goalkeeper, Gomez, calming everything down and chilling. Diego, Lasso, trying to use space, Regules, going through the middle with Danny, Danny, nice ball there to Regules, who's in the box now, see if he's going to take it in, the goalkeeper with a nice little touch, and the rebound, a little bit too short for Danny to get in there, and the goalkeeper now keeping it 2-0 two two so far. That looked like the third great pass. Great one, two touches there. Now Fam on the right side, Weissman. Quick touch with Omar. I would love to see Omar a little bit higher on the field. Eduardo. Aces Juniors once again on possession. With Tony on the right side. Alan Cruz, the center back, looking for the runner there. Sevilla is going to let it run. See if he can cut back. Some defense on his back. And not able to get out of there. Now green flag is going to start all over with the goalkeeper. And what do you think of like, of like this scenario for green flag? Like, do you think they have what it takes to, to, to come back? They have the talent for sure. I mean, you got Fam, you got Omar, you got McConey. So Lozano on the bench. Um, there's there's enough to kind of get something going, you know. But it's just going to – I think – I would like to see Omar a little bit higher on the field. I, I think he's too far back. I think he would do a lot more damage a little bit forward. But I don't know if they have anybody to cover that right, you know, that right side for them, especially with Danny, Gio, you know, all these players that could just seep in through there. All right, a great opportunity. Alan Cruz getting ready. And yeah, like I was mentioning, <laughs> to get on uh, to get on the pitch, I think they need some someone in the middle. I think they're struggling a little bit, like being able to like find some passes to McConey through Mc like long passes. I mean, they just Fam is kind of by himself, like kind of disconnected from McConey in this uh, first 27 minutes. Yeah, for sure. Not a lot of connections. The only one that they had was over here with with Omar, I think. But not much after that. Kevin. Through the middle. Fernandez. Long ball looking for McConey. And that's the thing. They throw the ball to McConey, but he's facing the other way. He's like planted the other way. He's not even looking to run forward. So by the time he turns around it tries to start a run, you have Torres who has a lot of speed and you're not going to beat him if you give Torres like three to four feet of advantage. Like, he's going to beat you every single time. So, they're going to have to, like, find McConey on their actual run already to get something going. Kevin. Fam. 
Kevin in the box, looking for Pham. Ball across, Alan Cruz there with the chest, gonna bring it down, no pressure. Coming out beautifully. Regulas now with some space. Gonna go. Oh, yeah. Why is like Danny playing so bad? More. It's 2 0. I think they feel like they have controlled the game. I think he's giving Lasso a little bit of more room to make runs. Yeah, look at look at Alan Cruz now going through the middle. McConey bringing it down for Fam. Omar over here all by himself. See we can go through. Omar cutting back into his left foot. He should have taken that flank. Fam going in. McConey trying to bring it down. He's not offside. He's going to be in. Looking for the shot. He takes a shot and McConey goal. He finds the space and he scores one. Nobody applied pressure to him. Nobody went up to him. He had all the liberty in the world. Turned around and put a shot right next to the post. There was nothing Gomez could have done. And McConey, the guy that we've been asking for, give him a chance. He's going to put it in the back of the net. 30, 30th minute of the game. And number seven, McConey. Ishe McConey for Green Flag, putting it in. 2 1 game, making it a little bit more interesting. As you see, when. I don't think it really works having Danny as a, as a left back. <laughs> yeah, not at all. Well, and that one, to be fair, I think Lasso was still kind of playing in the back. And, and yes, Danny did push forward a little bit too much. But it was a good, it was a good play by Green Flag for sure. Regules looking for that shot of the first post. Now, this is what we like to see, you know, getting a, seeing what Green Flag is really made of, right? Thousand percent. Green Flag side that has been able to... Uh, Play well uh, throughout the season. The only team that actually has beat uh, Ghost on Saints, AC Juniors, and MAFC, right? So it's like you're not, you know, AC Juniors not playing in the, uh, in the Premier League. It's just more of like how we see. Because I feel like Green Flag has been a bit inconsistent on their starting lineups. That's what I, that's what I, that's what I make out of like how they did this. But they've done well though. Yes. The changes in the lineups have uh, been very good. Fernandez going up. Omar as well. Gomez, going through. Fernandez, some space, trying to look for McConey, but not flat-footed once again. And he's going to get the foul. A little push there from Torres. Now perhaps uh, Green Flag can take advantage of these, uh, these uh, free kicks, you know, put, put the ball in the box. Um, I think that they're building some momentum right now. For them to oh, yeah. uh, get the equalizer, I think uh, that's what I, I'm trying to figure out the way that uh, AC Junior is playing with too many attackers. In my opinion, um, it can be a little bit awkward. I mean, obviously, even you know, if you put Danny, despite him being very talented, I don't think he's the fam coming in second post. A flick off into the box and the court crossbar. <laughs> McConey trying to get the rebound. A man on the floor. Tony on the floor, and it's gonna be a PK. A penalty! Tony! Seems like he got the foot of McConey. And we have a PK. For, for Green Flag, it seems like Tony was the one that kicked McConey as he was turned around. He went for the clearance. Green Flag asking for a red. I think we have a yellow on the field. I don't know who got the yellow. Who got the yellow, ref? We'll ask the ref right now for confirmation. Tony? Tony with a yellow. And the 33rd minute. And I don't think Tony's really, really accustomed to being playing as a center back. I mean, he's right back. He does, no, he, no, he was in the. He's, Tony what, right now. What, what I'm yeah. understanding yeah. is that Tony is a center back. Oh, he and is? Then, like, Allen, but I don't know how. That's what I'm saying. It makes it so confusing yeah. when Andy comes down and pushes Allen. All right, let me get. Let's get on this call right now as Fam is going to be.
face to face with Gomez. Fam getting ready. The left footer. He takes a shot and Gomez with the save. The goalkeeper becoming a legend tonight. And now Lasso making the run on the left flank. A couple of guys attacking. A ball going across. Gio is going to try to bring it down. Let's see what happens on this one. Danny on the backside. A ball going through. And the defense there clearing it out. And the ball's not out yet. Gio's going to bring it down. Running into the defenders. Goes to his right. Put the ball across, and it goes all the way across. Omar is going to catch the, the, the loose ball here. Fam is going to come and check in. He does find the check in. Lasso is going to chase him down. He's going to beat one guy, but the rebound goes to the, to the hero of the night so far. Gomez. What a well defended. Look at, let's look at it again. Going to the left side. Great jump there by Gomez to keep everything alive. Beautifully done there by the goalkeeper. A thousand percent. Beautifully done. And we have another yellow card. Seems like Eduardo, number eight, for AC Juniors, will be painted yellow as well in the 35th minute. This game from like a 2-0, a it might be said and done to a 2-1 with a couple penalties and just exciting. Yeah, what a game. And uh, that's what I was, um, and that's what I was mentioning about the fact that you know Green Flag needs to take advantage of the type of like free kicks, like right there, just how they did it, you know. Um, and then I guess they listened. To yeah. Me. <laughs> and they got to penalty right away. Um, now let's see how AC Juniors. Can I mean, they do have like a lot of the defenders right now on what the bench. Is, wait, what's Gio doing? Oh, he lost the shin guard. Okay, never mind. Play on. <laughs> Who have the actual defenders? I don't know. Very talented team. I think they just need to leave the attackers with what the attackers do. For sure, for sure. A lot of people put, uh, coming in in the chat. There's a lot, a lot of people. People cannot believe what just happened in these last few minutes. A hundred people. Thank you guys for watching. Ball going into the box. McConey trying to bring it down. Trying to do a little something crazy there. Not. So not a good one. People that's uh, watching us tonight really means a lot. Please don't forget to subscribe and follow us on the Instagram as well. Do we have uh, the best commentator for the league, Christian? I appreciate it. Long ball. It hits the back of the head of the defender, and he keeps it clear of danger. I, I don't know if he was expecting to do that, but he did it. Long ball. Weissman finds Omar. Beautifully done. Omar with some space. You can't give Omar a lot of space. They're switching the ball. Fam is going to get it way back. Through the middle, Fernandez. Quick touch, Weissman. It's going to open up the ball here with Omar. Weissman's going to make the run. Omar is going to take him on. Getting into the box, he can put a cross in. Cuts back into the box. Drops it back, Weissman putting the ball in. Second pose, McConey jumping. Tony clears. And Kevin there trying to get the shot off. And another hit there. And he seems like, who's that, number 12? Is that Sanchez, number 12? I think that's... Sanchez is 11. Sanchez number 11. That was for Sanchez? That, him over there, yeah, number 12. 11. Okay. My eyes were deceiving me. Sanchez with the yellow. One minute. 38th minute. Over here for my, for my notes. And it seems like we're going to have a VAR coming in. The referees are going to check on this. Eric, what are we watching, you guys? I don't know. Hopefully it's good. <laughs> Another VAR check. I don't even know where we're checking, but we're checking. <laughs> Turco says a bad feel. Seemed like it. The 
referee looking at the play. See what happens as the planes are flying over our heads. The game is getting intense. This is why you get in semifinals in the Vote League. Friday, we had a 3 3 matchup between MAFC, Ghost Sound Saint, all the way to PKs. The PK shootout was a was a crazy mess in a way. Seems like we're gonna have a decision. And the referee says nothing to be said and done. I think the the It looked like uh as I assisted only see the referee on looking at the replay. It it does look that it looks like uh uh Torres gets a header first, you know? Got you, got you. He got yeah, the ball first. Gets the ball first, you know. So. And going back to the poll that we have 91 votes and we have 52% Aces Juniors, 48 Green Flag, super, super even. I think everybody watching knows that both both teams are really good, and everybody's divided. Interesting. 91 votes is a, is a lot of votes. Shout out to everybody. Yeah, man. 39 minutes. Been exciting, exciting first half. Thousand percent. Yeah. We had uh, two VAR calls already, so. Trying to go through. Danny, losing the ball. Diego. Long ball. Going in. Danny, into the box. One and one. Dancing on it. Danny, the shot off. The goalkeeper with the rebound. Gomez trying to clear it out. Sevilla on the right side. Trying to go through, and it's going to be a corner kick. Also, quick shout out to Far Out, the sponsor of Aces Juniors. Great brand, great soccer brand. We support soccer brands. Beautiful brand, man. she got Swilla Tempo. And it seems like they already played it quick. They try to be slick. They try to be slick, but Lasso was like thousand feet away. And green flag caught on. Diego. Also, if you have a if you have a good brand. Hit us up. Maybe we can uh, feature you in one of these teams. We definitely need a sponsor. We, we, we're trying to better the production. I know you guys um, have a lot of expectations from us, so that's what we're trying to give you guys. If you guys can connect us, you're welcome. Alan Cruz on the backside. Bringing it down, finding Tony on the right side. Eduardo. Nice through ball, They're trying to find Regules. Omar on the chase, a ball going in. Goalkeeper said nothing has been happening here. We're going to go the opposite direction. Erwin been running those plays back to back already. Uh, he hasn't gotten lucky yet. And, he, and we know he can score from weird angles. He has done it before, so you can't really like count him out when he's in that weird space in that corner. Weissman, Omar overlapping. See if we can find him. He does. Omar trying to put that ball across. Ah, too long. Should have put it across first time. Danny coming back. Right? He's everywhere on the field. Pull back Danny. Loses it. <laughs> Gonzalez, number 17. Playing through the middle. Fam. Long ball looking for McConey. Goalkeeper coming out. Little collision there, but it seems like everything will be fine, hopefully. And goalkeeper is going to go down. The goalkeeper, man. If I, if Keeping everything alive, man. David Gomez. Fernando Vega is asking who we got playing for the halftime show. Hey. <laughs> the, the final. You got to watch the final, man. The final. I'm not going to promise anything, but you got to watch the final. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have things coming up. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get there. We'll get there when we have a halftime show. Or maybe a, a, like on the side or something. Now AC Jr. is going through the middle. Danny now finding himself in the middle of the field, losing the ball with Kevin. Send their mid. Uh, Danny. Right. <laughs> We're just going to name every position that Danny's playing tonight. Omar. Cutting in. 
See if he can find the run. Going in through the middle. Take the shot. McConey looking for the space. And Alan Cruz there cleaning it out. Fam, the lefty. Good angle. Fam looking for the shot. Goes into the box. Fam, goal! The run from Fam. Running through everybody, through the middle of everything. Fam going left, right, left, right. And the soft touch with the right foot. His weak foot gets that ball in. 2-2. Two, two. What a game. We talked about can green flag come back? Can green flag tie it up? And guess what? Green flag can. 44th minute before the end of the half. Fam getting his goal. Yeah, and we're going to have a injury time two extra minutes. And green flag. What a beautiful game. Oof. Uh, Oof. Be happier. <laughs> Is, is I mean, I don't think, I think everybody expected this, right? A really close game. But it's been a beautiful game so far. It started kind of slow in a way, I feel. But we got, we got a little bit better as we're going on. Diego, through the middle. Eduardo. Going long. Lasso's going to make a run. Jumping in through, trying to put the ball across. He does. The rebound stays in there. See what happens. And the defense, Sanchez. Sanchez, honestly, putting in work in the box. It was him against two AC Juniors guys. Gio with the brace. Sevilla trying to get a shot off. Won't get it. On the half, can we have to replace uh, Matthew's fan? Yeah. If, if we can find a way to do it, let's do it. <laughs> that was a good, great goal. Matthew goal. Matthew goal. <laughs> <laughs> we need to. We need to start. If you guys have nicknames for these players, let us know on the chat. Danny Gol, I think, has already been baptized. Uh, but if y'all have other ones, let them. Let us know. They're gonna be useful in the final. Tony, I think Tony is the Joker. Tony the Joker, Castro. And the fans are getting involved as well. You love to see that. Danny going through the middle. Look at him. Look at him go. Look at him go. Danny just putting this, the the break, the handbrake on that one. Gio getting into the box. Cutting back. Trying to put a ball through. Danny! And goal! But is going to be called back. Danny Gol is going to have to wait. Danny Gol is going to have to wait. It looked like he was offside, though, but it's in, like he was, yeah. did not catch it. So no, he was. He was. decided to check the VR. It's going to be impossible. He was in front of the, of the defender. Oh, flick through. Louis clearing it out. Diego. Fam redeeming himself, though, right? A thousand percent after the PK. I'll be honest. If I was in that situation, I would have kicked that ball way before. <laughs> Look at Eduardo go. He just cold blooded. Going through a bunch of players. Putting the ball into the box. See what happens. Defense clears. Regules trying to bring it down. Not able to. McConey now with Torres. That's a great matchup. Seven and seven. Kevin trying to find Omar. Omar has the speed. Alan Cruz coming across and the flick off there from number 10. Is he, can you keep it? Ooh. And a bad hit from Alan against the fence. It was a throw in, but Alan stays on the floor. Not a good look. Hopefully he's all right. And it seems like Alan Cruz might be out. Lasso asking for the substitution. Man, that's going to be a big blow for AC Juniors if Alan Cruz is out. This is going to be a terrible thing. Hopefully he's he's all right. We knew he was going to get to that ball. But obviously, you know, having that fence there. Okay, he's up and walking. That's a good thing. He's touching his right knee. So we'll see what happens. 
time is already uh, I'm already through. We'll see what happens. It's like there's gonna be a substitution. I don't know who's injured. Mendes are already warming me up. We'll see what happens. He's a. Seems like Alan Cruz is already walking to the bench. So. No, Alan says that he might be able to come in. We'll see what happens. No official substitution yet, though. But he's gonna walk to the middle or like try to try to wait till you know it's about to be halftime. Oh, he's he's back in. Never mind. <laughs> Alan Cruz trying back. That's a good. That's a good sign. Ball going in. First pose, a flick off, a shot, and it's gonna get cleared out. And that's gonna be the end of the first half. Two-two. Green flag coming back from a two-goal deficit. The first goal coming in in the minute 13, and then 18 quickly right there. Geo with the back-to-back, -back. and then we have a goal in the 30th from McConey. Really good goal in the. Honestly, in the box, not doing, uh, just there, right? right there. Nobody, right there. hey, how's it going? Welcome, thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, so what a game we've had so far. You know, here with my partner, uh, Christian. Uh, I mean, what a beautiful game we have. I mean, what, what are your thoughts, man? Uh, Fam redeeming himself? Fam, yeah, like I was saying, McConey got a good goal, but I think the goal by Fam, honestly, is next level, top level. I mean, he was just weaving through through the whole thing, in and out, like like nobody's business. In the box, just playing with it. Should we, should we take a, get the, get the replay? Yeah, let's do it. Let's, look, let's take the replay on it. Uh, fam, right here, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's get the viewers. Look at, the, look at this goal by Fam. Look at this, man. Look at Fam, okay. That That's two right there, three, four. And then if you count the goalkeeper, five. Almost half of a team. Unbelievable. And then, and then, this is what this is a, uh, the redemption. Um, uh, yeah, look at that, fam. Obviously, the penalty miss. Bang! And hey, that was a, was a beautiful that was a save. I mean, great he tried save. to place it though, right? And um, yeah, I mean, that's what we've seen from uh, uh, fam, Matthew Fam, man. For sure. Uh, doing his thing. No, yeah, I mean. On the other side, I mean, AC Jr. starting off strong. Two goals by Gio, 13-minute, 18-minute. Um, obviously, really, I mean, powerful when it comes to the attacking side. AC Jr., they have uh, Sevilla on one side, Danny on the other. I mean, Lasso also making runs through the back. Tony, that goal, that the second goal by Gio was a run by Tony, literally running through the back of Sevilla, making the, you know, bringing in, cutting back into the box, uh, putting a cross in. And just a beauty, you know. Gio just had to touch it. There's, there's nothing to it. You know, I'm just trying to figure out what's the the X factor for either team, right? I, I, well, what I think and what I'm analyzing from 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 the game, I, I think that AC Juniors has not been able to be consistent with the with their positions, right? Yeah. It's like it's like they're a little bit all over the place. You know, sometimes we've seen Danny as a, <laughs> yes. as a left back, then we've seen him as a center mid, yeah. and kind of like pushing Alan Cruz to be a center back. So that's yeah. a, bit of, a bit of confusion. So I think that they have way too many attackers right now on the on the team. You know, which, like as an example, right? Let's say that Alan Cruz was a little hurt, right, or was a little hurt before the game. Yeah. He could have came as a super sub, uh, perhaps 60 in the 65th minute, go full speed. Even with Danny, I mean. You know, obviously, a starter, of course, Danny, the best no. player. But I think that it's just way too many attackers right now. I mean, yeah, it could, it could be. I mean, when you look at look at the the, the the team, right? You you can count half of the team being really good attackers, right? Uh, you have you have an Alan Cruz, you have Danny, you have Sevilla, you have even Tony. You can name him as an attacker. The 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 way that he, the runs that he makes are going to be you know very very crazy and, and deep into the box. Um, Obviously, I mean, we've seen a lot from Gio, right? Two goals. But I think Gio still has a lot in the tank. And, and like people are saying on the chat, Danny needs to, like, get in there, right? Danny needs the goal. Uh, we've seen him running around. He did score a goal. He was offside. And then also Regules. Regules, he gets the ball from anywhere on the pitch. He's going to try to find a shot. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> but sometimes you need final, it. Remember? Sometimes you need it. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, Erwin, man, that's uh, he had a really bad game against the Estonians, I think. Uh, now is the the real one. 
yeah. real Irwin. Yeah, <laughs> for, yeah, for sure. The way that he's been playing, I think he's tried a lot from the from from the sides. Yeah. Try to cross the ball, hasn't been successful at it. Um, and that's what I think. I think maybe if Tony was playing more, I mean, uh, Danny was playing more of as a as a as a sole striker, um, instead of like going back, kind of picking the ball in the middle. Like he's like, I feel like he's almost running out of breath right there. You know, yeah. almost had a chance of course. Could I be, mean, yeah. I mean, not 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 saying that Danny's not dangerous anywhere, but. I think that he's m more dangerous and uh, as a as a striker as a number nine. Yeah, it could be, and and I want to switch a little bit. You know, we've been talking about AC Juniors a lot. Uh, shout out also to to David Gomez, the goalkeeper. Honestly, great save on that PK. Obviously, there's nothing you could have done maybe on that fam on that goal by Fam, but you know, talking about Fam, going on the other side, how have you seen McConey? He obviously he had, he got a goal, but it seems like he's been protected a little bit, or not. I don't know if protected, but you know. Covered up by uh, Torres and them. I think uh, I think Sanchez uh, right now. I feel like <laughs> Sanchez did a great save <laughs> yes. towards the end. I mean, keeping them in the game. I think the goalkeeper has came, been good as well. Has been really solid. Um, I think that that's what we saw first. The disconnection a little bit in, in the in the first 25 minutes between like uh, Fam, um, Omar, and Maconi. Yeah. But I think that now like um, uh, Fernandez has been able to get a. Like the ball more in the middle, we saw like Wiseman number twelve. Yeah, uh, really good middle, player. You know, recovering those, those the, the balls that you know that, that that Danny was receiving. That's what I'm saying. Danny losing in the middle, and then Fernandez recovering the ball, passing it to Fam, Fam to Omar, Omar to Ishmael, and they create that triangle. Yeah, that um, it's a big threat for AC Juniors. Yeah, and I mean I said it during the game during the first half, but to me Omar should be playing a little bit higher on the field. Um, he, he's a great attacker. And and coming from all the way as a as a you know as a, like right back, I think he has a, a, a too much of a trek when it comes to, you know from the left back or do the right back all the way to the to the front or you know going into the box. Uh, so we'll we'll see what happens. You know I would love to see Omar a little bit higher or starting from the halfway point, moving forward. He obviously when you give him a lot of space, we saw what, what he could do, right? Putting in balls in through you know to the box and stuff like that, and you know just give. You know, McConey a chance in the box, and we saw it on the first goal. You give him a little bit of space, you give him a little bit of time. McConey's gonna find a shot off and put it on frame, and that's half of the goal right there. Putting it on frame is half and, of the goal. And that's, that's what I'm saying. And, and then Green Flag needs to take advantage of yes. seeing that most of the players that Eugene has attacking players playing as defenders. Get them in that counter. They, they, could, they could find the weakness. Yeah. Um, right there, and that I, and that's what I, I think I saw, especially how Matthew took out like, For sure. the players. Let me see. Is there any messages from the, the people? Yeah, shout out to all the people um, watching. I don't know if you're. I don't know if that's recent or not. Uh, Mike, my mic should be straight. We'll put it. We'll put it here. <laughs> yeah. We have two mics, so we should be. You should be straight. And uh, but yeah, we shout see out to all the all the people, yeah. man. Like uh, commenting, interacting with us. I mean, just joining in and being with us for for this game. Um, semi-finals, man. It's been a long season. <laughs> Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> how many? Do you know how many games we played? Uh, uh, we played. Not, we had like uh, four forfeits, so we we played um, 86, 86 uh, regular That's season wild. games. All live stream. You guys can go check it out. Do the count. Eighty six live live streams. It's been That's crazy. Crazy. And honestly, I mean, you know, the support from you guys. When you look at the numbers of each video, like for for a grassroots length, I mean, this is amazing. You know, 86 full 90-minute games, like we said, you know, sometimes there's there's stuff go, going on and, and, you know, life happens. So out of 90 games, four were four, like four were not played, right? Yeah. But when you think about, like, look at the movement that has been happening in Houston, Texas. Like, basically, this is a call to all the talent. If you think you're talented, if you think you're ready to play in the best league in Houston, bro, hit us up. We'll find a, a way to get you in the team. Um, obviously, after the season ends, uh, we're going to have V2, which is the second the second division. Um, and obviously, there is a way to play in this division as well. So obviously, we're, we're trying to get everything better. Yeah. We're trying to um, get the real talent. I mean, not real talent, but, you know, the, the top of the top, the best of the best talent to the Vote League and, you know, get them... Get them playing here. I mean, you want to see the best I, of the I, best. I think that that's, uh, that's the impact that we've made with the league. Obviously, we understand how valuable the live streams are for a lot of a lot of players yeah. that might want to use the league as a stepping stone to 
perhaps get in a USL team. You know, yeah. I mean, that, I, I, I truly feel like we're not so far from like UPSL, you know, in terms of like, talent. you know, like talent. I, I think we're even like getting close to surpassing them, to be yeah. honest. I mean, with respect to the leagues that have been longer here than us, you no, know. But I think that we really put in a lot of work to make this make this happen, attract the best players from Houston. And I mean, let's look back at Argentina, right? Buenos Aires, how many teams do we have in Division One in Buenos Aires, man? <laughs> too many. <laughs> and and is yeah, right now there's two like it's kinda like the American League right now, like the MLS, and there's almost like thirty like thirty teams. Um I mean, you know, we're, we're, we're not going to get, I don't know if we're going to get to 30 teams, but at least having a league of 20 teams and, you know, having like that, you know, how they do in like the Premier League, 20 teams and everything like that, it would be great. Um, I would say, you know, we're, we're, we're at 10, we're halfway there. We're, so, we're like expanding, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? uh, to 12 teams next season. So there you go. a 20-week uh, league. Um, it's going to, it's going to. Um, it's gonna be crazy. Everything that's happening. We also have the launch of the division two as well. We have yeah. Fabian. Um, uh, people asking for the kits for division two. Man, just be patient, man. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't be a, don't 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 bother me too much on that because we have a lot lots going on. Especially the semifinals getting in the way of yeah. everything. You know. Yeah. Um, like get there. get there. A, have taken a toll on us. Um, hey, can we get some pictures for AC Juniors, please? Yeah. Um, yeah, I just had to make sure we get some content. Right. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys, I didn't mean to interrupt. Um, yeah, you're good, you're good. But yeah, I mean, what, what we've done so far with uh, with the league, uh, we are attracting, you know, some of the top HFA teams. It looks like we have uh, one more joining. Uh, I, I wish go. I could have the break the news already, you know, but I don't want to say something that is not going to happen. And uh, yeah, and then stick with us for Division Two. I mean, it's going to start next weekend. Uh, it's going to be very fun. Obviously, we have the University of Houston, Real Houston, Sud America, Southern City, Longhorn, FC. Uh, who am I missing? Ballers, Ballers. That got relegated last season. Yeah, uh, they're coming I missing? back. I miss? Oh, yeah, Pasadena Sporting Club as well. Yeah. Let's so go. Eight clubs, uh, going to be great competition. It's gonna be only uh, one and a half spots to enter to Division One. Uh, some people don't understand because they think that Dynasty, the, the team that was announced mm -hmm. for Division, uh, they think they're going straight to Division Two. But no, they're coming straight to the league because we had an agreement way before, way before we were decided to relaunch Division Two. I think we weren't gonna relaunch Division Two, but we saw how uh, Division One went well, and we better the logistics. We now are able to do like a live stream for all the Bowl League Two teams. So. That's what really changed the game, and uh, and the agreement that we had was, you know, bringing a top HFA team. I think is going straight to Division One. It's going to make the league competitive, and you know, there might even be rules towards the middle. I mean, you know, things can change. As like, yeah. as an example, like if teams are not organized, as an example, right? If like they don't want to have a coaching staff, they don't have host no type of trainings. I think that that's really going to make a decision for a team to be relegated as we create rules that make the game more professional. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it it's and you're gonna. I mean, like I said, it's it's gonna happen eventually because if you're gonna have, if you're gonna want to compete, you're gonna want to stay competitive as a team, right? So with all that comes, you know, being organized, being uh, having, you know, a, somewhere to kind of tell you what to do in a way. You know, coaching staff can go a long, long way. So everything has be has to be in order. You know, obviously, an organized something organized goes. A long, a long way. So hopefully you guys can join us. I mean, you know, Vol League is just starting. I mean, this is season five. You know, the the ceiling is, is still very high for us here at Vol League. You know, I, we we feel like we're just breaking into the ground ground floor. This is only our second season of 11 v 11, and you know, 86 games later that have been played. I think we are, you know, we are close to saying that you know we might be one of the top leagues in the city, if not in the state, if not in the country. So. You know, we just want to say thank you to everybody that supports us. Everybody that you know, not only supports uh, like the personal like stuff. You know, like I have some friends watching, or maybe family members. I'm sure you do as well. But like people that don't even know us, and, you know, and they're supporting from other states. Yeah, it goes a long way. I think they're telling me that the mic is is, is off. So you know, I, I apologize, guys. I really it says that it's on. It says that it's working, but uh, but you never know. But but yeah, man. Like we like Christian said, we do have a lot of people that don't know us. 
uh, other than the people that support us, our friends, family, and, and we really appreciate that. And just see how, if you take uh, player by player from this amazing team's green flag and AC Juniors, of course, Ghost Town Saints, MAFC, the quality, man, it's just the quality of players that we can have in a single league is just insane. Um, people are asking, Nightwatch was the team that won the Division Two last season. They got promoted along with MAFC. Those were the two teams that got promoted uh, for division uh, from Division Two. So yeah, I think that we're ready to start, but really appreciate you guys like uh, um, uh, staying with us and 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 you know let's enjoy the second half uh, coming up. All right, we'll leave you here with the, with the sounds of the field, and we'll be right back in a couple of seconds. Stay tuned. The the second half is about to start. Yeah, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be here. We took the whole like uh, half time to you know talk a little bit with Christian. Thank you, guys. I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know your account that has. 50k subscribers man shout out man whoever you are man appreciate you tuning in yeah man we want we want the vote vote too man to make some noise as well and we're ready to start what a what a game guys tune in with us share the live stream Don't forget to subscribe. You got friends, family that just like soccer, support the sport in any way, man. Send them through. Uh, we want to start getting more people coming to the fields. I mean, just the fact that you guys are watching home, taking the time, just being on the phone, using some data in some cases, it's highly appreciated. So we're ready to start the second half. Uh, Christian is going to be back in a bit. Uh, he, there he is. Christian made it <laughs> back in no time. Second half is going to be underway. AC Juniors going, moving the ball left to right will be the ones having control of it. That was pretty gross. Somebody burped it's really loud. <laughs> and we're off. Regules. We're going to get it in the midfield. Playing with Tony. Gio moving the ball across. Danny. See if he can get it. He does bring it down. A little bit of space. Goes to his left. Takes a shot in the goalkeeper. First block of the second half. What a save by the goalkeeper. Uh, man, that's what I was just telling you. Harwell, man. He's, doing, he's done a great job, man. Throughout the season. He's been absent some time, but uh, he's doing his thing, man. And another shot that is safe. And Danny again trying. I'm gonna try to speak as loud as I can so we can uh, so they can hear us. So no, no, yeah, just stay with the mic. Uh, For sure. Try to speak as loud as I can. Corner kick coming in. Ball into the first post. The clearance there by Weissman. Solorzano, who has come in in the second half, would try to find player there. Not able to. Now he's Juniors moving the ball around on that left side of the field. Trying to look for some options. Diego now is going to switch it all the way up. Tony has some, a lot of space. Bringing it down like the gods. Looking for the long shot. Hard with that. Those balls look easy, but they're not really, really easy. Who came out? Fernandez came out. Fernandez came out for Solorzano. And Fernandez is out? Is it? Number 14? Yeah, yeah. Fernandez is out. Yeah, number 14 is out. He, uh, Solorzano came in, number 10, for him. This one we're talking about Fernandez having a great game. Regules. Moving the ball through the middle. Diego. A little bit of pressure there from Kevin. What a great player, Eduardo, honestly, in that midfield. Really good body. Yeah, yeah. For his, uh, you know, shout out to David for being with us. And great Houstonian teams gave a great match. Very exciting uh, game they had uh, versus AC Juniors. I mean, 
they had it right there, you know. But same thing, like Ghost Town, they, they, they couldn't score the penalties. But, man, thank you, David. Thank you for bringing a great team. And I'm sure uh, Houstonians going to be very, very competitive uh, next season. So, man, you guys watch out for Houstonians, man. It's going to be a really, really tough team. I mean, we just see some of uh, a little preview on the semifinals of what Houstonians is going to be uh, coming to a vote next season. And just to, just to kind of let people know, Houstonians is literally a legendary team here in the city of Houston. I played club back in like two in the early 2000s, and Houstonian was already known for being like one of the best, one of the the clubs that you know brought good talent to the city of Houston. As Solor Sano now trying to push in, McConey's gonna get it, looking for the shot goes to his left, and Regules. I'm sorry, Eduardo, cleaning house. But yeah, like I said, Houstonians honestly a legendary club. So whenever I you know I heard that they were gonna come and play vote league. I got excited even though, you know, I always played against them, but I always knew that they were like a household name in the city of Houston. So shout out to shout out to them and thank you for you know for joining us and, and putting a good team on the field. You know, making all the way to the playoffs, almost beating the, the champs. Obviously, you know, it, it got a little short for them, but honestly a, a great showing by the whole squad. And uh, yeah, we got some people watching WrestleMania and the Bow League. Hey, shout out. <laughs> It's hard to compete with The Rock, but we're here. Shout out to Awesome Frankie. Danny, some space. Trying to find Gio now. Who's going to take it? Harwell there, making a save. Great shot there by Gio. Uh, uh, we're, yeah, we're, we're selling uh, some uh, home, some kits, man. Come out. We're gonna make some. Uh, it's called. It's called. It's gonna be called La Galeria Mercato. There you go. So ball coming in from the corner, and the goalkeeper coming out, and Clark there pushing it out. So uh, if you're looking for dope kids right now, mine. There's a uh, Japanese kid. Pretty dope. Ball going across. Gio. So Lorsano there putting his face in the way. But AC Jr. is going to get it back. Gio getting into the box. Omar clearing the house there. Hey, watch the back side. You have two behind you. Watch the back side. Back ball. Lasso dancing all over the ball. Coming in and Hartwell controlling. You feel like a little bit of sad of like how it's coming to an end, the yeah. end of the season. <laughs> it's wild. It's a, it's, a, it's a weird feeling, you know, especially you know knowing that some teams have to go and there's only one champion. For real. But that's how it is, man. Soccer at the end of, at the end of it all, there's there's only one best. The best can only be one. And that's what we're seeing here, man. The best of the best, going at it right now, two two. MAFC already waiting in the final. Tell us about the final. When is it? Oh, the final is going to be next Saturday. It's going to be scheduled for 5.30 p.m. Um, yeah, man, it's going to be very exciting. MAFC, obviously, congratulations to MAFC to making it to the final. They played against a great, great, great Ghost Town side. I think the best uh, Ghost Town team i ever seen in uh, all the years that I've seen a Ghost Town play. Uh, shout out to big big man Ayoka. It looks like he's gonna be the top scorer for the league. Regules looking changes. for crazy changes. And yeah, I mean, uh, we're that's what it is, man. The, the league is, uh, you know, to answer Alexis. Yeah, we're planning on having a cash prize next season. Obviously, it's a uh, it's it, it's a lot of uh, investment that comes on hosting like a 90. 90, uh, 95 uh, game. Uh, game league, you know, all live stream. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's a lot of investment just in itself, but we're doing it. Oh, we got a yellow card for who? Kevin. Kevin, Kevin got a yellow Kevin for that foul in the 53rd minute. Kevin, man, also a tank. Really good player, Kevin. 
But yeah, like I mentioned, I was mentioning, uh, we're planning on, you know, if you guys can send us some sponsors, man, so we can allocate this fund um, to, to, you know, a cash prize, man. That'd be, that'd be great, man. And doing a lot more things, actually. Tony putting the ball into the box. Goalkeeper coming out, not touching anything. But the ball does find the other side. So it's going to be a throw in for AC Juniors. Let's hope, let's keep a steady 100, guys. Uh, share the live stream. Gio, Danny. Danny looking for the shot. A rebound. Ooh, what a shot. I mean, now, are we, can Carwell be the man of the match at this point? If hey, if they win, most likely. Goalkeepers have been really solid. Regul is there with the shot. It hit Fam. Now McCone. So Rosano trying to find McConey on the run. And Alan Cruz there. Diego. We'll see what happens. I mean, the goal both the goalkeepers have had a good night so far. Getting ready. And the shot. Not a good one. I hear Yoke is getting a lot of offers from different teams, man. Yeah? Hey. We get a, we have a 25% uh, class or what? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a Yoka uh, might be moving on from the Ghost Town. We'll see what happens. We'll look at the transfer window, how crazy it gets. Now Tony. Diego in the midfield. Looking to open up the field there. Let's see what he finds. He does find Gio. Tony on the other side getting ready for a pass. And look at Tony all by himself. Tony! Goal! I called it. Tony was by himself. And Tony finding and Tony with the celebration. Foot. And cleat in the air. Tony getting the 3 2. And the 55th minute. Tony redeeming himself to giving away that penalty, though. But even though it was saved. <laughs> Tony, Tony, Tony. 3 2, AC Juniors. It seems like Oscar is coming in. As Gonzalez, number 17, will be taking a break tonight. Another substitution there by Green Flag. The second tonight, none so far for AC Juniors. We'll see what happens. Solorzano finding Omar on the right side. Omar trying to put a ball through, not able to. AC Juniors really changed the way they were playing. Ten minutes they've been attacking nonstop. Greenfield have not been able to get anything. Miller Clark pushing the ball up forward. Fam is going to chase it. Island's going to find the goalkeeper there. Some pressure there on the keep. Going through the middle. Tony with a lot of space. Sevilla getting the space. Opens up with Tony. Tony putting the ball across. And Gomez there clearing it out. I think that's what they needed to, to get Tony actually on the, yeah, on the on attack. The attack. Yeah. <laughs> that was a great, that was a great like ball. Cruz as a, as a, as a lone, uh, CV. I can't remember if it was Gio or Danny who put that cross. But it was perfect because Tony was here all by himself. Had all the time in the world. And also beautiful header. I mean, you have to know how to put those in the bo in the goal. Torres there with the flick. And finds the defender there. McConey now pushing against Eduardo. Fam 
It's going to find Omar. Omar with some space. He could be dangerous. McConey crashing in through the middle. And guess what? Lasso there to defend. But the ball still is playing. And there. I think it was Weissman. Fam, leaving men on the, on the floor. McConey, Solorzano, McConey taking a shot, now putting it on frame. Green flag, trying to be dangerous, trying to get dangerous. Hundred and twenty votes. The majority still for AC Juniors. Taking the game tonight. We'll see what happens. AC Juniors with the championship experience. MAFC waiting. Perhaps watching this game. Shout out to the MAFC guys uh, watching this uh, fixture. Diego opening up the field on the left side. Gio cutting back. One on one there against Oscar. Gonna have to check back there with Regules. Tony finding Sevilla. Sevilla going into the right side, trying to beat his men. Cutting back to his left. Tony thought about the shot, decided not to. Eduardo now taking it. Weissman in the chest. Fam now. It's going to find McConey. Torres is going to chase it down as well. Let's see what happens here. And Gomez there. Coming out. <laughs> it seems like we're going to get a foul there. Oh, it seems like... Is that Danny on the floor? It might be Geo. I think, yeah, that's, that's Geo. Is it Geo? I can't tell. Is that Eduardo? No, that's Eduardo. <laughs> and it seems like number 19, Morales, starting to stretch his legs, move up and down. It seems like Eduardo might be coming out of this one. Not not stepping correctly. It seems like it's going to have to be the end of the game for him. Honestly, a, a pillar in that midfield. It's going to be a huge, huge hit. He's going to try to walk it off, run it off. We'll see what happens. And it seems like Eduardo will be out. He's not feeling great on the sideline. Feel bad for him. But Morales is already in. Long ball going into Danny. Gomez there not able to clear it out. And Danny not able to hold it for himself. Weissman clearing it out. Kevin bringing it down over the head of Sevilla there. Clark, now the goalkeeper, all the way back, looking for a gap. This is why I don't play, guys, my bad. I thought I had it. I obviously didn't. In a shot, in a goal. Danny. With the celebration.
Danny getting on the board. Of course, what everybody has been waiting for for AC Juniors. Danny Gol came in and delivered. Let's see it again. Look at that shot. He got a lot of speed in that run and took the shot on the right side of the post. I don't know if it was better, if the goal or the celebration. <laughs> Now Tony making the run for it. It's gonna find Sevilla. And Sevilla not able to keep it and hold it. We were keeping it in the hoop, the goal. Sorry about that, guys. Quick shot. Regula is putting it in the box. And the goalkeeper with the flick off. Danny! Goal! Danny with the second goal of the night. And Danny is back. Five two game. Danny. 63rd minute, 64th minute, back to back. And a 5-3 game. The tables have turned completely. And AC Juniors up top with three goals in the second half. What do you think? I mean, it's, <laughs> it's like a stunt right there, man. I mean, AC Juniors using their manpower. And I don't know if they, I mean, if I was a green flag player, I mean, what, I, what, what would I feel? You know, it's like my spirits will be crushed. Uh, two goals back to back, man, unbelievable. Um, Danny goal Danny appeared. Goal. That's what we can say, Danny goal. And like, uh, what, what do you think? Think the green flag still has a chance? There's still 25 minutes left. They got, I'm not gonna say better players, but you know, Solorzano was a player that they needed, maybe in the attacking third. So we'll see if they can do anything. I mean, honestly, if they can get one goal and get the momentum going, it could be something. Now we're switching the ball here for Tony. All by himself. See if he can control it. And he controlled it. Just in the nick of time. Gomez going long. Weissman trying to bring it down. Kevin. And Lasso there making a run for it on the on the far side. And the defense there by Oscar. It's gonna be a throw in for AC Juniors. It's wild how things change. And we have a man down on green flag. Seems like he's cramping up over there. Trying to get a visual. See what happens. I think it's Omar, which would be a huge blow. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's Omar. One of the best players for this green flag squad. Seems like he's not able to step. He's going to have to come out of this game right when they needed him the most.
Diego now bringing it down. Bad touch there by Danny Gol. Bud coming back and recovering beautifully. Morales is going to open up with Tony. Kevin is going to come down in here and chase him. Morales. Regules passing it to Diego. Diego to Gio. Gio to Danny. Now we're just playing a quick touch of possession. And we're going to go play all the way back there with Alan Cruz and the goalkeeper. See if Green Flag is going to get out of their own half out of this one. Quick ball through the middle. Trying to open up the space. Shout out to Fabian. Going on the right side, Sevilla. Morales taking a shot and is going up wide. Hard we're playing quick there with Sanchez, who had a pretty good first half. We'll see what happens. Weissman through the middle. Currently, green flag playing with one man down. They need to, you know, make up their mind if... This, this, this will mean, this win for AC Juniors means that, like, AC Juniors will be, like, in three uh, Bowl League finals back-to-back. -back. McConey, they're trying to get to it. Tony's going to get to it first. Did somebody come in for number 19? I don't think so. Yeah. No, uh, no, no, for you, for the green flag. There are men down right now. I think he's just checking out. Oh, okay. oh, he needs to hurry up. <laughs> Ball into the box. The rebounds. Nobody's able to get a touch on it. And hey, Gomez there. Dangerous move there. Danny fighting there. He's going to have the speed. He's going to run. Gio on the left side. And Oscar's going to be able to get a foot on it. It seems like Lasso is going to take this throw in. Diego now looking for a switch. They're asking for the switch. Danny going through the middle. Sevilla Ooh, looking for a hit. He does find the leg of somebody else though. And Sanchez clears it out. In the case of a red card, and the team goes through, can they play in the final? No, straight red, no, but a double yellow, uh, they'll pay the fine. That rule still stands, the double yellow card. All right, there you have it. Straight red, no. If you got a straight red, you're out. Diego in the midfield. Some pressure there on his back, but able to get out of it. Tony over here asking for the ball all by himself. Morales, looking for the switch. That he would get it. Torres now, and Tony is will get it. A lot of space for Tony here. I don't. I don't think that it's necessary from. I don't think it's necessary from juniors to do that. They're winning. Uh, be respectful for the other team. Lasso on the left side. <laughs> the 
La Hasso, nice spin move there to get out of pressure. See if he can get all the way down to the line. Ooh, trying to flick it off to himself. <laughs> McConey now making a run. It's funny because Torre came to the line here to talk to his players, and <laughs> the play was on the other side. McConey there, not able to get a pass, but he, he does find Omar. Omar looking for the shot. Hits the man. Switching it out to Solorzano. Open the ball. That's what they won. Weissman. Kevin. A nice ball going in. And the goalkeeper there to collect and calm like the waters. A green, flag, a green flag goal to make things more interesting for us as, the, as we approach the end. I think it will be unacceptable. Another goal by AC Juniors, really, in a competitive matchup semifinal for the Vote League. Diego, not able to get a pass there. Fam. Opens up the ball there with Kevin. See what he does. Going through the middle. And Diego pushing in through the middle now. Going in the opposite direction. Regules. Ball going into Danny. Danny's going to bring it down. Some pressure there on his back. See if he can control. And Danny, they're trying to get out of pressure. Gomez pushing in. Going in forward. Solosano is going to be coming out with the ball out of that. Omar on the right side. Maconi in the middle. Fam on the other side. Three against four. Torres. They're going to the floor. Maconi's going to get the rebound. Stays on the box. See what Maconi does. Trying to drop it off, and Morales able to pick it out of there. Tony. Sevilla and Gio, just... Tony. And it seems like a little bit of pushing there. Obviously, it seems like green flag got heated at the passing of back and forth there. And it seems like Kevin. Kevin getting a yellow. Getting a double yellow. And it seems like Danny's going to get a yellow too. So Danny now with a yellow. And unfortunately, Kevin, with a double yellow, getting into a red, leaving green flag with 10, man. Danny and Kevin got yellow cards. All right, we're going to continue on with green flag with one less man in this game. I think that will seal the deal, really. It might be. Morales with Gio. Gio is going to open up through the middle. Gio now over the back, getting into the box. See what happens here. Gio putting the ball across. And we're going to get another one. Alan Cruz, who was playing center back a minute ago, now scoring goals on the other side. And Cruz. Hey. 
78 minute for Alan Cruz. Six two game. Goals for a few players on this team. Gio with two, Danny with two, Tony with one, and the final, Alan Cruz. And it seems like we're going in. I think I'm scared to say this, but I think the final might be set already. AC Juniors might be going to a back back to back finals. Um twelve more minutes. Twelve. 12 more. 12. And Savisha is the one that came out on that one. Who came in for Savisha? Ball going in. First pose, the goalkeeper there clearing it out however he wanted. But as long as you clear it out, you use your hands, your legs, your head, whatever you can. And David Gomez got a foot on that one. He <laughs> got the foot. Yeah. I think that was what, fam? I think it was crashing in. Almost got a touch on it. <laughs> Sevilla came out for Mendes, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if you got that one. Huh? Sevilla came out for Mendes. Number two. Overall, first 45 minutes were great, honestly. A lot of back and forth. The second half, AC Junior just turned on. Uh, no, number two. Might have been Jonathan. Jonathan Mendes is actually number uh, two, not number six. There's a, there's a glitch on that. Tony now playing with Diego. And Lasso on the other side, and he was in offside position. As we're going to have a couple more substitutions, Kevin Regules and Barriga. Number 18, Barriga. Number 22, Regules will be taken on the field. Number seven, the captain. Louis coming out. And Alan coming out. Fam, now trying to find some space, find a runner. Sanchez is going to make a run for it. At this point, you got to throw everything up top. And Gomez is going to chill. And a ball there for Johan, getting into the box. Johan taking a shot and goal! Johan, the left back, made it into the box and got his own for tonight. That's, that's Lasso, that's Lasso. Oh, Lasso, Lasso. I don't know what I was calling. Johan, you were from last game, but that's Lasso. Yeah, it is Lasso. Fernando Lasso. Number 33, getting one in. Lasso in the 82nd. And well, yes, this game is over. Diaz coming in. Sanchez, Sanchez came out. Sanchez had a really good first half. And number 13 coming in. And Diaz now moving the ball around. A lot of space for him. Number 
McConey, Solorzano. Clark. This is not expected whatsoever. No. This this score was definitely not expected. I, I you know, I'm the type of person that would love to have penalties, of course. You know, I like I like uh, high emotional games. And uh yeah, um AC Juniors, man, we're too powerful, overpower green flag, uh green flag play excellent uh second half. I mean first half, man. They could have been been up three two, right? Yeah. It was a two two halftime, right? Yeah, wow. Yeah. I tell of two halves for sure. I feel like Green Flag ended the half a lot better. And obviously the second half was all AC Juniors. Five unanswered goals for them. And that's just the way that it is. Diego going through the middle. Gio there losing the ball to Omar. Omar now looking for an option, looking for a place to go through. Clark. Taking a shot, Clark. And is going to go over the goalkeeper. Danny. Danny cutting in, beating a man, leaving him behind, trying to go through a second one. Solorzano making a run for it, or putting Omar to run instead. And Tony was chasing him down, but it seems like Omar might have been offside position there. And also a quick shout out to everybody watching. We appreciate you guys supporting us, even in these games where maybe towards the end it gets a little weird with all these goals. And goal differentials, you guys are still there. Tuning in and checking out. 100 people still there. I tell them to wait for the uh, the interview that we're going to have. Uh, who do you, who do you, yeah, who do you guys want? Let us know yeah, in the let chat. Us know. We'll go with whoever you guys want. Let us know. Let's, let's. Yeah, let, let us know right now who you guys want us to interview. <laughs> Weissman playing the ball there with Omar. Baby's mad. Morales, Mendes, now Gio on the other side, only a guy in front of him, Gio getting into the box, getting some space, cutting in, and now he's going to decide to move the ball all the way back there to Regules, who's going to go even farther back with Diego. It's just to think that Houstonians almost took him out to be in a semifinal win in 7-2. Seven, seven Barriga looking for a shot, and it goes close to the second post. Roman Gar Roman Barriga coming the, 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 in. Harwell, Connor Harwell has been outstanding, a goalkeeper. I mean, sadly, not much help on his defense, but, you know, it could have been more, man. You know, we watched it. Look at how many goals on target. It's 13. He saved 13 times. <laughs> now Omar making a run for it. Seems like he wants to stay in this game really bad. Omar, that's something that something that cannot be taught. Morales now with the yellow, but the hard by Omar, it's it's incredible. Five goes down and he's still going at it like nothing. Oh, 
Solo Rosano is going to take this one. Putting it on target. And David Gomez just watching the ball go over. Weissman going through the middle. Trying to find Pham. Omar now, opening up the ball with Diaz, asking for the ball back. Fam, putting the ball in the box. Fam, trying to bring it, is that Oscar? Oscar trying to bring it down now, in the box, beats his men. Touching the ball back, Solo Rosano with some space. Not a good pass. Now it's going to be a two against one. Weissman tracking down. Danny, Lasso, Gio. Let's see what Lasso does. Lasso opens up with Gio. Gio with the hat trick maybe. Gio! Goalkeeper comes out and Weissman on the line to save. Now Solorzano going on the other side. Omar. Quick touch against. Now Fam going through the midfield. Bam. Quick touch with McConey. McConey has to play back with Solorzano. A shot! And Gomez there. Putting his chest behind it. Keeping the ball in front of him. Lasso there. Trying to bring it down from the air. Gomez will kill that. Danny's going to bring it down. Regules now. Some space. Quick touch to Lasso. He's going to spin around. Regules now. A lot of pressure from his back. Danny's going to make a run for it. He's in the box. Cutting back. Goes to back to his right. Dancing on it. Asking for a push. He won't get it. And Gomez getting out of pressure. Not wanting any troubles. Fam. Omar. Going left, going right, going left, going right. Looks for a shot. Not able to get one off. And that's going to be the end of the match. The second finalist is set. The final is set next week, Saturday, 5.30 p.m. AC Juniors, MAFC, MAFC, AC Juniors, Looking for a back-to-back. -back. MAFC looking for their first trophy of Vote League. We'll see what happens here. Great game by AC Juniors and everybody in their team. Let's see if we can get some of the players in here to talk to us. Stay tuned. And we'll see what happens here. Who do you want to get? You want to talk? You look like you want to talk. Come through, come through. Who we got? Let's get Lasso. All right, let's see what we can get here. We're waiting on a player. All right, we're going to get number 15, Sevilla. What's Gooch? Hello, sir. All right, we got Carlos over here. Obviously, AZ Juniors player, player on the wing, has been a killer so far this year. Uh, just tell me a little bit about this match. How, how what was the mentality coming into this game? Well, when we went in against Houstonians, we came in very arrogant and you know cocky. 
So we had to make adjustments and humble up. You know, we had to humble up to to beat Green Flag because Green Flag is a very good team. So we came a lot stronger, a lot stronger. That was our mentality, coming strong. So this, the first half was completely different to the second half. The first half, obviously, was 2-2. Uh, how did you feel the first half? Obviously, the second half was uh, everything that you guys did kind of just happened. But how did, how did you feel in that first half coming into the, the break? So I think the goals they scored were off mistakes. So we just, you know, tightened up on the mistakes. We didn't have as many mistakes, so their chances they didn't have chances. So they couldn't score anymore. So that's how I think they scored their goals off the mistakes that we committed. So you guys are the reigning champs. You were here, if I'm not mistaken, you were there last yep. last year, right? Or last championship, another final. Yep. How do you feel? You know, since you've been here since the last one, now you're going back to it. Another tough team, MAFC. Yeah. How do you feel personally, and how do you see the team going into the final? Well, me personally, this is my third final third from final, season yes, two. Yes. So I mean, I feel great. I mean, we love playing finals. Uh, I mean, Matias is a good ass team, so it's gonna be tough. Yeah. But I mean, we're a good team too. So, so tell me, tell me a little bit about your team. Obviously, you got ballers, you know, including yourself. How, how do you guys feel about going in? Oh yeah, we're 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 confident, but obviously we can't be cocky. But yeah, we we we, we think we got it. But we'll see. It's gonna be a good game, very entertaining. So tune in, please. Y'all gonna watch a great game, a great right. final. Carlos, appreciate it. Congratulations, and we'll see you guys next Saturday, bro. Take care. Do you got you you got a sec? Do you, yeah, come through. Yeah, 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 let's go, let's go. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah, I just gotta show up. I will. Let me ask you one question. One question. That's it. Talk, come over here, please, so they can so they can get you. <laughs> yeah, come over here. You good? No, Danny, you got a you got a few goals, but I think a lot of people are asking about the celebration. What what's that celebration about? Jeff Hardy, baby. <laughs> Jeff Hardy, baby. WrestleMania, WrestleMania was on tonight. I had to bring out a little WWE move. A lot of some people actually on the chat, they were like, "Hey, we're watching WrestleMania on one TV. We're watching the game on another." So I mean, if you were there watching WrestleMania, you could have just watched the game and watched Danny. Uh, but Tony, hey, you the last few games you've been killing it. You got a goal tonight. Uh, it's funny because during the game, I saw you here open. And I was like, if they open the ball and they switch it up. Tony's over here by himself. How did you see that play? Talk about the goal a little bit. When, uh, well, first of all, as a team, I feel like collectively we play well together, you know, so with the ball movement. So once I see Gio over there doing what he does best, you know, he picks up his head, defender don't see me, cut in, wide open, you know, smash home. All right, so two halves that were completely different. First half was 2-2. Two -two. It was tight, you know. You guys went up top, but they came back real quick. Were you guys, I don't know if scared is the right word, were you guys, you know, worried about going into the second half and kind of tuning stuff up for the, for the first? Definitely on the front foot. Definitely on the front foot, you know, great team. Second place, you know, you don't get second place because you're a bad team. It's a hell of a team. And we knew that this is one game only. You know, we lose, it's done. There's no next weekend. There's none of that. So we got to be cautious. We had to choose our moments. We chose them, I would say, rather more than well, you know. Hell of a talent on the team. But we, as soon as we knew, we had to bring it. Uh, especially having flashbacks from semifinals last year with Seinfeld, you know, when we lost some penalties against Ghost Town. And it gets to a point that we, we were playing so well. I feel like as a team, we were doing well. And a couple of mistakes was costing us a match. We were like, oh, but halftime, team saw, you know, they're like, hey, we got to pick it up. We got we to gotta, we gotta clean it up because if not, same thing happened last year is going to happen this year. So I, I think we learned from our mistakes. And I think the second half was a complete different show, complete different game. All right, guys, so AC Juniors, defending champions, going back to another final, defending against MAFC, who is a really, really tough team. How do you guys feel going into the final? I mean, beating them the first time was already hard, and beating a team the second time is even harder. But we're going to bring it all. You know, it's a final. You know, it's blood, sweat, and tears on this turf. It's going to go to war. It's going to be a good game. It's going to be a good game. All right, so tune in Saturday. The boys are going to be here. Thank you. The brothers. And, oh, we're going to get Alan Cruz. Again, there you go. Hey, MVP, what's up, brother? Congratulations, first of all. So, tell me, you know, how you saw it. The, the first half was completely different to the second half. How did you guys feel in that, you know, in those 15 minutes in between the halves? What, what was it talking about to, to kind of come out in that second half and, and not let those two goals like y'all did in the first half? Uh, the first 30 minutes, we were playing good, we were dominating, but the lack of fitness, you know, they played a big role. And I, I was telling the guys that, because in the midfield, uh, we were playing good, but whenever it's defense, they were not, you know, they were not dropping back. 
and we were lacking on that. So we, on, in the halftime, we, we started talking about all the problems, and hopefully, uh, thank God we fixed everything, you know? Uh, it was just a lack of defense and lack of fitness, honestly. But, you know, uh, I know we, we came through, and, and thankfully we got the dub, another final. Another final. Like you just said, another final. How do you feel about MAFC going against MAFC for another final? It's going to be instant classic. It's going to be instant classic. Uh, third game. Third game's a charm. Whoever whoever wins is going to is gonna be the best team, you know? It's going to be the best team of the season. All right, man. Congratulations. We'll see you Saturday. You, and we'll see you guys. Defending champs will be back. Another game Saturday. MAFC, AC Juniors, two really good teams. Number one seed, number three seed. Uh, but I think that's not going to matter anymore because it is a final. Every Everything counts. is the last play. you got to leave it on the field, as they said, blood, sword, and tears on the turf. So we'll see what happens. Uh, if you guys can, come join us. Saturday is going to be a really good match. We're going to have a lot of uh, different things going on, celebrations. So hopefully you guys can join us. 5.30 p.m. is going to be the start of the game. But if you if you can come out here, please come out here. It's always fun. Last year we had, I think, like 200 people here. And it gets exciting. Celebration, cup at the end, medals and everything. So hopefully you guys can join us. If you can't come, you can't make it all the way out here, just tune in. And hopefully you guys can join us there. So we'll see you next week. You have a good night. Thank you for joining us. Where are they going with the pink ones? Yeah, put them all together.